What's up everybody, it's Dandy here again and I am excited to talk to y'all today about how to access mods for certain games. There are a lot of ways to mod a lot of different games. Uh, in fact, I spend most of my time in modded Minecraft, usually, or modded Ark. There's a lot of good modded games. But today I'm going over one of the easiest ways to apply mods to games that you might play every day, and that is called Thunderstore. Now, Thunderstore is uh, part of something called Overwolf. It's something that uh, helps you run mods for a lot of different games. Overwolf technically houses the mod management system that I use for Minecraft and a lot of other games, but I'm going to talk specifically about how to use the Thunderstore mod manager today. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, load up a Google tab. So I already have one up here, nice blank slate. And uh, from here, you're going to go and search for Thunderstore mod manager download. So there'll be a lot of options, but go from the one by Overwolf. Overwolf is the kind of the head. Overwolf is an app store. It manages a lot of different apps, and Thunderstore is one of them. And from here, you just click Get App, and uh, you'll see the download up here in the top corner. Now, I'm not going to run that download because I already have it downloaded, but run the downloader, follow the instructions, save it to whatever drive you think is best. And once it's done, you're going to want to open it up. So I like a nice clean desktop, but... Uh, I can search for the Overwolf app itself, but I'm specifically going to use the Thunderstore Mod Manager. So from here, this is what you're going to see. It might open as a window, but I like to fill it out. And it's a very clean, very simple UI. Thunderstore allows you to use mods for a variety of different games. It's, it's, it's a good number. They've added a lot in the past couple years. I've been using it for a good while now, uh, specifically for games like Valheim. I've modded Valheim a lot. Uh, but also other similar games. They have Subnautica, both of them. They have Risk of Rain 2, which is a huge one. Risk of Rain has a bunch of incredible mods. And uh, more recently, Lethal Company, which has so many fun mods. It really fleshes the game out uh, if you've kind of played it a lot and feel like you've gotten, you've gotten all you can out of it. Using Thunderstore will help you bring life back to that. So let's use Lethal Company as our example. So when you're here, you're going to want to choose what game you wish to mod. Uh, again, I'm going to choose Lethal Company. You can search for the games you want. The library isn't infinite, but it has a lot of really good ones. Uh, there is also a server section, but we'll worry about that later. Um, uh, that's not a that's not a this video problem. So I'm going to go here and search for Lethal, and they have Lethal League Blaze and Lethal Company. And from here, you can either select the game or set it as default. If you know that you're only going to use Lethal Company for most of your mod playing experiences, go ahead and set it as your default. That way, you don't have to do this every time. But for the most part, I, I leave it blank because I play a lot of different games. So you'll select the game from here, which you can also star it in the top corner of that. You can choose to star the game uh, and add it to your favorites list for easier access. But from here, it'll take you to the profile selection screen. So you can always go back and look at the games again. But uh, yeah, so star that, select it. It'll take a sec to boot up the mod list from Thunderstore because it's all handled through this app. Uh, and then it takes you to your profile selection. You will always have a default profile. That one's just there. It just exists, period. But there's also, uh, you, you know, you can choose to save other profiles for different mod loadouts. So if you're playing by yourself and you want a list of mods for when you play solo, you can save that. If you're playing with a bunch of your friends and you want a mod list that all of you share to play together, you can do that. And it's really, really convenient because of the import update feature. So this one right here, Gaming Boys and Girls, was a group uh, mod pack that I played with uh, some friends the other day. And what happened is somebody curated a mod list and was able to export a string. So you can choose Import Update, create a new profile uh, from code, and literally just copy and paste the code here from your friend, and it will choose and download all of the same mods that that person exported so that you are all guaranteed to be running the same mod packs together. It's an incredibly, incredibly easy way to set up modded streaming with your friend or gaming with your friends without having to go through and a call together and say, all right, did you download this mod in this version and this mod in that one at a time? It's a very, very fast tracked way of handling it. But for now, I'm just going to create a new one. So we'll just call this one the tutorial. Uh, and it'll tell you if the name is available in your list, if you happen to have a lot of them, and click Create. And from here, it'll take a sec, it'll spool up, and there it is, it's created, and then you just uh, select that profile, and it'll take you to the modding screen. So, pretty simple from here. Uh, you can see that I currently have zero mods installed. There are a potential 23,113 mods available for Lethal Company. 
uh, it'll show me how many I've downloaded or are being downloaded actively. The game, the name of the profile, this is where you get the chance to share it. So this is that code I told you about. It's incredibly easy to use. You literally just click share, copy the code, paste it to your friends, and boom. You all have the exact same mod setup. So from here, there's a lot of different things you can do, but it's to stay surface level, you click and get mods and you look for the mods you want. Uh, one of the best features about this, so say we look by download count to see what people are downloading the most. Uh, and a lot of times, some of the most downloaded ones aren't, they're mods that are backend and are needed to run other mods like Lethal Company API. So you might not need to download that one. You don't want, you're not worried about the API, but what if other mods need it, such as More Company, which is a stable lobby player count expansion? Well, you don't have to worry about dependencies. You can click the download button, uh, and it'll say download with dependencies. You can also choose what version you want, but you usually do the most at the most modern version. And then you click download with dependencies. So what that does is even though I just downloaded one, the more company mod, if you go into my mods, you can see it automatically downloaded Bepinx pack. So the Bepinx is, it's another one of those backend mods. It doesn't change the gameplay experience, but is required for a lot of the mods that do change gameplay experience. So again, if you head back into here and just start choosing, again, we're gonna, we'll sort by download count to see the most popular. So let's say that we want Skinwalkers, you know, this was a really cool mod. I have two mods I download, download with dependencies. Sometimes it'll take a while for some of the bigger mods, but it's all hosted through this application. So you don't really have to worry about individually hunting down mods and then importing them to the correct folder or et cetera, et cetera. So that one's taking a while, I'm going to choose a different one just for the sake of expediency. So more emotes. Download, download with dependencies, it's done. I went from two mods to four mods because uh, more emotes needed runtime netcode patcher. And then Skinwalkers is also here, but so that you know, it could act a little weird, just double check your mods. Um, but then yeah, that, that's just how it works. It'll automatically download any dependencies that it needs to run when you click that. So you know, we'll just add one more, we'll add another moon, we'll add Harloth. So you click download, download with dependencies, that you know, you got to watch that one load up. And now I have 10 mods. That mod added a whole lot of different stuff, you know? It added lethal level loader, Star Lancer AI fix, the lethal lib. Like, it's so convenient to not have to worry about individually downloading independence or all of the dependent mods that it makes Thunderstore worth using right off the bat by itself. Now from the My Mods page, there's a lot of customizing you can do. You can reorder the mods if you desire, but most of the time you don't really have to worry with that. Uh, you can disable them, which is really handy. Say you don't want to download and uninstall and download over and over again. So if you're like, hey, I don't really want the Harloth Moon um, in this particular playthrough with my friends, you just click disable. And now you don't have to uninstall it, but the mod will not launch when you launch the modded version of the game. Incredibly convenient. Uh, you can favorite a bunch of mods or donate to the mod author if you feel inclined to do that because people put a lot of hard work into these. Uh, and then you can expand to look at associated mods, go to the website, uninstall. So it, it's super convenient and it's it's just one of the things that make Thunderstore such an incredible application. Uh, as you get a little deeper, there are some things that individual mods you can, you can really funk with. So if you go to edit config, um, there aren't really a lot for this game specifically. Um, something like, I guess, um, Valheim would be a good example, has a lot of different mods that you can edit individual stats on. So like you can download a mod that lets you edit how quickly you harvest wood, how much weight you can carry, etc. And I can do a tutorial on that if y'all like later. But uh, these will allow you to edit configs and you go through and you know, enable assembly cache. It'll just have a bunch of options like this that are true, false, or a number value, and you edit the conf config and save it in such a way that the game runs differently. And not a great example for Lethal Company, but for other games that, that has a lot of fine detail editing that you can do. So once you have all of your mods completely downloaded, we're at the end game now, uh, this is the 10 mods you want. You can see up here, you can launch the vanilla game through this. So you don't you don't have to go back to Steam, uh, which is what this will work for. You will have to own the game on Steam. That's important to note. But uh, if you own the game on Steam and it's already downloaded, Thunderstore will, will, will pretty reliably find your folder. If not, you can manually route to where your games are. But you can, you, you click launch modded. So once you click modded, it'll say Lethal Company is launching via Steam. Close this message to continue modding. Usually you'll see something on the back end load up. So Bepinex loads up um, 
a back-end launcher of some kind. It'll work its way through making sure all of the mods are properly set up, cached, and ready to go. Uh, and once it's done, you'll hit startup. And uh, the game should launch once the startup is complete. And usually there are ways to tell that uh, the modding is complete. So we chose online mode. It's going to take us through the loading section. And uh, boom. So you can see I had the more company mod installed. So you can see right up front that uh, the modding did work. You can also tell by this green box that lets you customize your character. So I was playing recently as a funny little clown man. Or Jester, I guess. But, uh, but yeah, and that means that it worked. And that's how it is for all the games. So Thunderstore is an incredibly, incredibly useful application for modding a lot of really popular games, especially if you're playing with friends. So super, super fun. Super excited to be able to show this to y'all. And uh, yeah, if y'all need a tutorial or would like to see anything else about other mod managers or other similar applications, please let me know. Or... If you'd like a little deeper look into editing the config files for certain games, such as Valheim, like I mentioned earlier, let me know and I'd be happy to do it. Other than that, I hope you'll have fun playing modded games. Thanks for sticking around and watching the video. Thanks for liking and subscribing if you uh, feel so inclined to do. And yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks everyone, see ya. Mm -hmm.